Hi everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm the owner of Spanish Friends for Kiddos and your host for today's show. Welcome to the Spanish for Kiddos podcast where you can listen to fun bilingual stories and more. So today I'm going to read a, a little bit of a different story, it's called the Bilingual Weather Activities and it's more of an interactive type of uh, e- ebook that you can find because in this case there are different types of Spanish weather terms that you want to really discuss with your kiddos and there's other different parts of vocabulary and Spanish terms that I think it helps them understand the different ways that you can use Spanish in different formats. So let's go ahead and get started. In autumn, I use a coat. The coat keeps me warm. En otoño yo uso un abrigo. El abrigo me mantiene caliente. In winter, I use a hat, boots, and gloves. They keep me warm. En invierno, yo uso un gorro, unas botas y unos guantes. Ellos me mantienen caliente. In spring, I use a raincoat and umbrella. They keep me dry. En primavera, yo uso un poncho y un paraguas. Ellos me mantienen seca. In summer, I use a short sleeves shirt. The shirt keeps me cool. En verano, yo uso una camisa de manga corta. La camisa me mantiene fresco. D and el fin. So again, the story is very short. It has very simple terms that you can go through. But if you notice that we went through the different seasons of autumn, spring, winter, and summer. And then, of course, there's different types of expressions that you can have in spring, such as for in different types of weather, excuse me, that you can have such as whether it's cold, whether it's sunny, whether it's rainy, or whether it's different types of expressions there, such as hace frío, hace calor, está soleado, está lluvioso. And then you can actually match these up with the different types of seasons. And then from the seasons, you can actually make a multi-purpose lesson that you can couple these out with Spanish vocabulary such as clothing. So for instance, where would you use a sweater? Would you use a sweater in winter or would you use a sweater in summer? So that could give them an idea of how this can all come together to help them learn more about vocabulary, to help them learn more about Spanish expressions. And then you don't have to just stop at knowing what the seasons are, what the weather is, or what are those expressions are. You can actually pull it all together and it can make even more sense to them into what is in a bilingual story. So that I think it helps them understand what that is and you can use this in informational text, you can use this in other stories as well too. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick uh, bilingual story. I think it's a fun story to do so. You can find more stories at our SpanishPaquitos.com blog along with some other fun strategies to learn Spanish. So join me next time as I read another fun bilingual story in English and Spanish. Thank you so much for listening to the Spanish podcast, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everyone.